Hey guys, it's a really nice day here, so we're going to do a little test with the uh, solar generator. Uh, let's uh, do a kind of a real world test today in the backyard and uh, see how long the battery lasts doing uh, typical stuff. So first, the, the solar generator has been charging out in the sun for a few hours. Um, the way mine's set up is I, this is the main shut off, so that's on, it can charge and everything's powered up. So I'm just gonna pop the panel off. You don't have to pop it off, but I wanna put the unit in the shade. So I'm going to do something like that. Sorry for the camera work. I'm gonna keep the panel here. So the green light's on for the sun. Connect to a battery. You can see the state of charge here after it stabilizes. So 12.8. And if I uh, flip that over, it'll go down a little bit since it's not charging. So the battery's pretty full. Just flip this back over. That's a 10 watt panel, by the way. If you haven't watched the previous videos, 10 watt panel, uh, about a, a little over half an amp. So, today we're going to be doing a, uh, it's 4.30, going to get some late sun. We'll be charging uh, iPhone 5S. This is a typical scenario, I think. Is This is pretty much built for uh, communications charging. You know, in a power outage, you could run small appliances. Um, but mostly, it's made for, to keep your uh, your comms charged. So, radios, cell phones, um, lights. And also, we're going to plug in. So, say, typically at night, I would want... A, uh, a light so I'm gonna plug in this uh, I believe this is a 15 watt fluorescent bulb this could be oh that needs to be on this could be up to 18 watts I'm not really sure but it's pretty bright at night if it's not so you can see that's charging that's on and we'll call the battery 12.6 at 4.30. So you can see the sun's up there. And if you can, you always want to keep these solar panels perpendicular to the sun. So I'm just going to do this highly technical aiming technique here just to get a little more power out. Uh, normally, with if the panel's on that, you can use the lid to aim it. But just how I'm doing it today, just because I'm one-handed holding the camera with one hand. All right, a half hour later, I had to move this. This was out of the sun for like 15 minutes because it was right there. And, uh, you know, doing a solar test at 4.30, maybe not the best idea. But hey, we're still, we still got sun. Let's check out the phone. 95%. It's very close to being, uh, I guess we're 45 minutes in now. Let's turn off the load here. Okay, the battery stabilized a little bit. We're at 12.35. Alright guys, it's been an hour. Getting a little bit more evening sun. It's been an hour and two minutes. The iPhone got 97% charged. It was, uh, it got like almost totally charged in the first half hour, but the last couple percent are still going. The light's still on. Um... The thing is at 12.13. If I turn off the load, the battery will spring back up. It's about. Uh, I'll look. I'll look up this voltage later, but it, it's probably about 65 percent. I'm gonna say maybe 70. So, you know, I think this is a, just a, a basic real-world test to to run some stuff for an hour. Um, you can see how long things to take to charge. You know, like I was saying, I always charge tool batteries with this, and. Uh, tool batteries take about uh, 40 minutes to an hour to charge so you know I, I've said I charged three tool batteries on this on a typical day and 
and just keeping this in the sun, you know, like just helps it stay charged. So, um, that's it. I made this removable because I thought I would uh, travel with the panel inside this case. That's kind of how I sized everything when I first made this. Um, and it works great. I just don't find myself doing it much, but it, it's great for uh, pr protecting the panel though if I'm going to toss this in the boat or in the camper truck bed. <laughs>